Hello everybody, AquaGear here, and welcome back to another episode of Aqua's Adventure. Today we are back on this world, and last episode we worked on the nether wart farm and ended up finishing it, so that's really nice. But one thing that we didn't do is we didn't finish up the storage area. So today we're going to be finishing up the storage area, I'll kind of show you guys what I've been doing off camera, and we'll do a couple other fun and quick things. So yeah, I'll see you guys uh, when I have everything together. Alright guys, so real quick, I do want to show you what I did off camera. Uh, right before I started recording this, I went on a long, long mining uh, trip, exploration, whatever, and I got these materials. So I did get quite a bit of diamond ore. The only big problem is, I kind of, the couple of goals that I want to get to today is, as you can see, if you look at my levels, I have 32 levels, so that does mean... If I just cook a little bit of this iron, I'll be able to get to 33, and that means we'll be able to enchant two things. So, really, two of my main goals for today's episode is to get the storage area done and to get a fortune pick. Because I do have a lot of diamond ore, but I do not want to break it without a fortune pick. So it's really important to get that this episode. But other than that, we got a ton of coal, we got a ton of redstone, gathered some food when I was, like, away. Um... Yeah, we got plenty of iron for which we're going to need today because with the storage area, we're going to need a lot of hoppers and a lot of chests. So that's going to be very useful. So real quick, let's actually put everything that can smelt in the smelter. Uh, okay, let's just take a couple of, uh, a little bit of coal with us. We still have those cakes in the front. I still got to eat those. So let's go in the furnace area. Let's Let's do this side this time. Oh, great, there's already stuff in there, perfect. So let's just kind of put all this stuff to cook, and then when we grab it, we'll have more than enough levels um, to enchant two things. But until then, uh, let's make some chests. I did gather some wood also. I don't even know where I put it. I just did this like 30 seconds ago, and I already forgot where I put all my wood. So let's, let's go uh, look for it. Did I put it in here? I didn't put it in here. It's probably in the chest outside. And also, you guys might have noticed, the thing's fully grown. So we'll be able to harvest that today. Kind of give it a first try after we get the storage system set. Where did I put my wood? I'm honestly really confused. Let's keep looking for it. I know I put it around here somewhere, right? And I just got caught by the door. Oh, I remember where I put it. Now I feel kind of dumb. Alright, it's. I put it in the chest over here. Uh, yep, I put it right here, so, and we got five more diamond ore there, I forgot. So let's grab this wood, and let's grab what the iron that we do have. And let's start making some chests, because for the storage area, we will need chests. Let's make this all in a planks, and I have the tree farm back there. Let me see if I can actually go see it. From here, I have this tree farm over here that I built very early in the series, so that is what I did use to get this wood some chests and I want to try to get like equal chests between trap chests and normal chests because I will have to use both in this design let's make uh, 24 of those I forgot how to make trip wire hooks I think I know how but I kind of forgot so I know we have to put that up front is it something like this it is all right let's make all those in a trip wire hooks for now and how do we make trap chests like this, right? Nope. Okay. I think you actually have to make a chest. Let's grab like half of those. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, let's try to get an equal amount. So let's just make all the chests we can real quick. Let's do this. Perfect. Let's make all the chests possible. So we got 41. Let's let's get it back to 16 like this. And let's break these in half. I guess we'll have... Actually, we won't even have enough, so it really doesn't matter. Let's go grab some more iron real quick to do this. I know... Okay, perfect. 15 is more than enough just to grab to make some more. Okay, let's see. And we do it like this. We're going to need to grab more wood now. Let me make sure my mic isn't muted real quick. Okay, perfect. Let's go grab more wood. And I know we have just a little bit of spare wood in here. That's all we'll need, really. And let's finish up the rest. Uh, t Ten will be more than enough. I, 
perfect. Yeah, we'll have one more chest, but honestly, I don't think we're going to use all of them anyway. And for the actual build, we'll be using stone brick. Let's just grab some of the stone brick we have in here and just use the rest and just make it. Like so. Alright, perfect. And someone's vacuuming my house, which is great. Hopefully that won't show up on the video. But let's go at least start the building. And as you can see, I still have my picks on me that I used mine with, which I forgot to put back. Whoops, <laughs> but it's fine. It's not gonna... It's not like I'm gonna need millions of inventory spaces for this one. I really just need chests, hoppers, etc. So real quick, let's take this ghetto one down. And I have... I do have a design of what to build. I did go on a testing world and do this, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna switch over to that testing world, because there's no need. It's like a really simple design. I just need to get... I just need to build it. Whoops, I dug way too far on that one. So the chests. I guess we'll make the storage area up until here, and you guys will know what I'm talking about later on. We'll do that for now. So the chest will go through here. That does mean we're going to have to clear this area over here. Like so. Perfect. Let, let's find a way to get back up over here. Perfect. And now, the chests will go over here. Let's grab both kinds of chests. And it's getting night out, so we'll have to go to bed soon. So I, I guess the storage area will start right here. So we'll put chest, trap chest, chest, trap chest. Okay, and just like that. And then we'll do this all the way up until here. So we'll have it three high then. Let's just do that. Ho I, hopefully we'll have enough. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I don't have enough. I'll have to see. Actually, never mind. We will have more than enough. I keep doubting myself. Let's do this. That does mean let's clear an area right here. And I just fell fell in it. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so let's go back and go to bed so we don't, like, get, um, what's the word? Get, like, ganged by mobs. Let's run back up in here to the bed and I getting a little bit of lag but that's fine all right so yeah for once like in this episode what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get like everything done in one cut so that's gonna be a new thing it's like sometimes like even when I watch different youtubers I don't like it when they like cut like every 30 seconds and I know I tend to do that sometimes so I'm gonna try to get like everything done in this episode that I need in like one take uh, okay, let's clear out the space right here because we will need this to actually put in the hoppers Like so let's go see how our how our iron is doing <clears throat> And another problem here is I Okay, we have more chests. So I'm thinking we're gonna need more hoppers. So we're gonna need more wood to get the hoppers <clears throat> Let's go over here and see how our iron is doing perfect Let's just grab everything else might as well and we're at 33 levels <clears throat> That's actually perfect. All right. While the other things are cooking, let's actually grab six diamond ore. And then what I'll do to make sure I get fortune. All right. Let's grab one, two, three, four, five. Since one's already broken. <clears throat> so let let's do let's do this the smart way. And of course I have to grab some lapis. So let's go grab some lapis. I know I forgot to do that last time, which I felt so stupid for doing, but. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And of course, we do have to craft the pick. So what we'll do is we won't break up the other diamond ore in case my first pick is a fortune. So for now, we'll just break one of them. Let's make sure not to grab a silk touch. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. We still haven't crafted the pick. <laughs> so let's do that real quick. Craft a pick perfect. So yeah, both of these enchantments will be on a pick unless the first one's a fortune And then I probably won't All right, let's get rid of these carpets because I know these slow down Enchanting all right, let's let's see what our first what our first enchantment is I'm breaking three silk touch ah. uh, Should we take the chance at this? You know what I'm breaking three is really good. So I'm gonna take the chance Are you serious? That's horrible. That is completely horrible. Alright, well, there's really nothing much I can do about that. Maybe we'll get some good books later on and we'll be able to get a better enchantment. 
let's go for our second try let's go make the pick I'm really really hoping this one's a fortune because I need fortune so bad I keep breaking these diamond ore without fortune and every time it just like I don't know it hurts cuz I hate wasting material like this let's make another pick hopefully we get a fortune enchantment I'm praying right now that I'm getting a fortune enchantment because I need this okay let's put in efficiency ah, okay are we gonna risk it again really I have no choice at this point maybe okay are you oh okay I, I can safely say out of any episode ever with enchanting today has been my worst luck which is uh, it's horrible I've gotten two very horrible picks I mean what I could do is I could take both of the bad picks and combine them to make this which I will at this moment because uh, I think it's just the best way so I mean now we have a very good working pick I can say that that pick is probably the best pick for working but now we still need a fortune pick so that's kind of uh, not useful but it's okay um, let's see if we have any more wood yeah we don't exactly have a whole ton of wood so what we actually can do is we could go outside real quick and get a little bit more wood because we will need to make more chests let's run outside over here and yeah I guess I'll show I'll show myself using this farm in action because I know a lot of you guys are very new <clears throat> lately my channel has been growing a lot so a lot of you don't know what a lot of the parts of my world are yet so I'll try to maybe show you guys a little bit more, more parts of the world uh, so yeah, these trees usually give a lot of wood, so I'm going to try to chop a lot of these trees down instead of going for the smaller ones first. Because these yield a lot of wood. I don't want to cut down a million trees, I just need to get some wood. Let's actually climb up there to get the rest of this. I really don't want to waste wood. Plus, I need the wood, I need the actual tree to come down. So I'm going to need the saplings. Got to make sure there's no wood. Because if there's wood by the leaves, the tree doesn't actually decay, which I need it to decay to get the saplings back. Right, we almost got already a stack of wood, so that'll be more than enough. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully, I'm I'm hoping I got enough iron too, because the iron. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of iron for the hoppers. Just cut down the rest of this tree, and then we'll just kind of have to sit by and wait for the saplings to come down. See, there's one of the saplings that I need. Um, let me quickly make sure there's no like wooden logs in the in the leaves because then they'll never decay. Right, that's fine. We'll, all right, we'll we'll need that sapling real quick. You know what? I'm not gonna worry too much about it. Let's just make a crafting table real quick. Um, let's just put it right here. I guess we'll need it at other times too. Let's make these all in a thingies and let's make them in a chest. Like so, and if we do need to expand the farm, uh, actually, my bad, the storage area. That's the one thing that I do love about the storage area is it is expandable. So we'll, be, so we'll be able to make it as like big as we want, in case it gets full. Which I don't think it'll get full. There's plenty of room, so the the chances of it getting full are kind of very small. Let's see if some of the saplings have came down yet. We can replant. Let's just jump over here and grab these. I guess we'll just cheat. We'll go the cheaty way and just kind of break through the fence real quick. That fence is really more for the mobs instead of decoration. I just don't want the mobs getting in here because there's so much like shade under these trees. Right, so there's our first one. We need three more saplings. Two more. Correction. Here's another one. One more sapling. All right, there it is. Just go grab it real quick, and then we can skedaddle and go make our hoppers that we need. Okay. And real here, I'm going to have to fix this land over here. Maybe we'll do it this episode if we have more time. Uh, let's just see what iron we do have. And then we'll see what we're going to make. Alright, we can make 21 hoppers. I think that'll be more than enough just for this project real quick. If we don't have enough, we got more iron cooking in the furnaces. So it's, it's going to be fine. Let's actually go start over here. So how this design works is we're going to have a hopper line. Is that good? Right here. Right, yeah, so let me make sure there's actually a hopper over here in the middle. There is. Okay. So what, what it's going to do is uh, when the items actually fall, it's going to bring it over here. But in between the space, there's going to be 
hoppers along these chests like this. So every time items come along, they'll come and drop into the first one. When all, all this is full, they'll come along, go to the second one, and drop in this one. So I have tested this in Redstone World, so I'm pretty sure this will work. If it doesn't work, then I'll feel quite foolish. But, I don't, oh, we made the perfect amount of the chests. It's actually amazing. Alright, that's actually went better than expected. But now, of course, I'm not going to leave it in dirt. So let's put some brick back here, make it actually have some sort of design. Like, oh, okay, we got to get in that corner over here before we cover it up. So let's kind of put it over here. And of course, I'm not going to go cheap with this. I'm going to fill in the corners at least. I have plenty of material, so I don't need to be stingy about it. And if we put a chest over here, what this chest is going to represent is when the entire farm is full, this chest left stuff in it. Because, like I told you before, when the, when the items come, they'll fill like rows at a time. So again, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to explain it to the best of my ability. When it comes through here, this first hopper will take it and put it into the last chest. When that chest fills up, it'll go to the next. And then, really, it'll just keep going. But when all this is full... Then it'll go to this chest over here. <clears throat> At least that's what I, it showed for my testing. So if this chest has stuff in it, that means it is full and then we'll have to empty it out. But the chances of it actually being full are kind of small. Because there's a lot of room in this farm and it's not like I'm going to be using this farm constantly. I mean, there's only a certain amount of time when I'm going to need it. And my phone just went off, which is perfect. Of course, it's Twitter. You guys are probably hearing me open my phone, which is fine. Let me just turn my volume down. Perfect. All right, and we're gonna need we're gonna need a way to kind of get down here. So let's clear even more space. Let's clear the space over here, and let's put brick over here so we don't have dirt hanging around, like so. We'll have more than enough brick to do this. All right. So we're gonna need a stairway down here. It's just kind of. I know I dug way too far once again because my pick is OP. Uh, let's make crafting table. I don't feel like running all the way back. Let's make some stairs real quick. These stairs will help us get down there. All right, perfect. Yeah, let me just patch this up real quick. All right, now we got to kind of envision on how we want this place to look. Okay. Well, the first thing we have to do is the floor has to be made out of brick. Let's kind of clear the stone real quick and replace it with brick. Of course, I don't want any stone or dirt lying around. Kind of that'll kind of look ugly. So, sorry about that. Um, I'm sure we can get back there, right? Yeah, perfect. Hopefully, I don't have to like dig up all everything I just did so I can get back there. But I think it'll be fine. Okay, yeah, we do have more stone on us. I was getting scared for him. I'm like, am I running out of stone already? And it's getting night already. That's crazy. Alright, so we'll have to head back. Oh, okay. I was wondering why I couldn't move. Uh, okay, let's use the rest of what we have. And we are going to go to bed soon to make sure the things, the creepers don't come and, bl and blow us up right now. Because we are in the middle of building, so that wouldn't be too nice, would it? Okay. I think I think the stairs should come from this way since the button is over here. So let's start the stairs right here, like this. And then kind of just symbolize the start right there. And let's make these walls out of brick. Let's actually take one more layer off. And real quick, let's just replace these two over here with brick. Let's take another layer off so we can have a little bit of space to walk around down there. Like so. And this place right here can be filled back up with dirt, because that won't be brick. Let's build the rest of this with a little bit of brick. I'm actually surprised I haven't run out of resources. I went for mining for like at least a couple hours. It might not seem a lot of material for a couple hours, but at the same time, I was just like hanging out with my sister and stuff, just kind of mining for fun. Playing some music and all. Uh, okay, let's replace this right here, because that's not that doesn't look too nice right here okay it looks pretty good but real quick let's go to bed so we can see it in daylight time 
and we'll go collect the rest of our material and then I'm gonna probably cut real quick see what time I'm at if we have any more time we'll do a little bit of more grunt work around the place but let's go to bed real quick make sure none of them bad mobs get us <clears throat> so yeah again I'm actually very happy with what the resources that I got I didn't think I'd have enough but I ended up having enough let me make sure I'm not muted again I uh, now I'm always like scared that I'm muted because the kind of headset I have, the mute button is like right next to my arm. So I'm always scared. I'm just going to like brush past it and mute myself. Uh, we need some torches. Let's go grab a couple torches. Alright, so the torch box is right over here. Let's grab, maybe grab like eight. We won't need more than eight, so that'll be fine. I mean, I wish I could enchant another thing this episode. Maybe I might, like, do a little bit more mining and cut back in so we can enchant something, but I don't think I don't think we'll be able to. Maybe I can kill some chickens inside the farm. Who knows? Let's grab some torches. Put a torch over here, 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 and here. And that should be lit up. The thing is, I want to make the transition right here a little bit more smoother. So let's make these in a brick. Should we make this entire sidewalk over here made out of brick? I don't think it would look too good, so I'm not going to. Get rid of this crafting table. All right. Kind of really, I just planned out like the storage area. I didn't plan out how it would look, so I'm kind of like at a dead end over here. But let's let's do our best to make it look nice. At this point, I'm I'm like wondering, maybe should I put it like a wall right here, or is it fine like this? Maybe I'll just do a little wall over here kind of like round it off you know like the storage area is done over here that would mean let's put a torch right here a torch right here and a torch right here and I think for now this looks good because we can expand it that way we can expand it this way but like I said in the beginning of the episode if we do get done with the storage area we will be able to use this farm for the first time so yeah let's let's get excited let's get hyped um, and let's press the button, see what happens. Hopefully it all goes well, crossing my fingers that everything goes well, and it, but it should. Oh, got a little lag spike. Oh, okay. All of it's falling down. All of it is coming down. That looks amazing. That looks beautiful. Ah, perfect. The farm is working as intended. Now let's see if the actual storage system works as intended. Hopefully it does. Though, even if it doesn't, I'll be able to fix it quickly. Let's go inside to make sure all the places. I just grabbed it. Uh, that could be a little bug in the system. Oh, yeah. Some of the nether work gets stuck on the fence over here. That's not too good. But, I mean, we're losing, like... Actually, we're really not losing anything. Because when we have to come and replant, we're going to have to go up the ladders anyway. That means we'll be able to collect maybe, like, the extra nether wart that's stuck. So, honestly, I don't see that as a big problem now that I think about it. Let's turn it off. All the water will retract. Now, the only bad part about this design is that I have to go replant. Perfect. All the nether wood's coming in like as expected. So I will have to replant all of it, which I will actually do off camera because I really, really don't want to bore you guys with planting and stuff. Yeah, so let, let me go grab uh, all the stuff in the furnaces, see how much we can get from it. And then I'll cut real quick to see what the timing is at. I'm still really praying for um, a fortune pick because we really need one of those. Alright, let's see what we have. And obviously, I don't think will be enough to get us back to level 30, but... Yeah, level 24. Maybe maybe I can cut out, get back to level 30, uh, replant everything, and then we'll end off the episode by an enchantment. That would be pretty nice. Okay, let, let's do a little bit of cleanup before we do end off put all the diamond tools we have at the moment in here which we have a pretty good amount of diamond tools at this point in time I'm really happy with that um, do I have a separate gold chest yeah I do have a separate gold chest so I'm not gonna put it in here let's actually make I know this was a diamond chest before so we'll we'll make this an honorary diamond chest again that's a lot of gold we could actually smelt that too that could help me in levels uh, for now this is like the random item chest at this point in time so Probably once I cut out, I will organize this stuff too. So overall, once I cut out, I'm just going to do everything. And just kind of uh, 
tidy up the um the ends how do, i don't know how that saying went yeah so i'm trying to think if there's anything else we have to do and it doesn't so i'm gonna cut out check what time fix another war kind of do some cleanup and then we'll have to wrap up so yeah i'll see you guys in a second all right guys we are back and much work has been done uh, I think let's start outside to kind of just show what I've done. This, I've replanted everything. I think it's almost fully grown back already, which is crazy. Yeah, let's just drop that. I don't need that. And this is working sort of good. For some reason, some of the items are going in these chests over here. But really, I'm not going to worry about it. As long as it goes somewhere, I think it'll be fine. But most of it did make its way over here. And all this is after we replanted that. So, really, like... It went up until about here, but this is pure profit right here, which is nice. Uh, Alright, let's head on. And I just did a couple uh, work around the house. Next episode, what I, what I am planning to do is more do more terraforming. So you guys uh, expect that around the next episode. I bred, I bred uh, the animals again. Um, I added more chickens inside of these, which is nice. I ate some of this cake because a lot of it's gone. But you might notice a couple things, like I organize everything. So now only uh, two things are in there, like essential for mining. The chest over here is gone. Uh, I did put more things to cook, but I'm going to take those out right now. And I'll put it in its position. Yeah, so I just started smelting some of, some of the gold. Uh, let's go put the gold back. And this is where a lot of the change went in, because I worked... Uh, hard to reorganize we have a couple new things like we have the sand chest over here we have the armor chest over here we have a soul sand chest sugar chest a rare items chest over here and obviously I just put like I put everything where it belongs pretty sure we have like, a couple new things uh, oh yeah right here we have an arrow chest another another wart chest leather chest and TNT chest which is all nice, but the thing that I worked on the most is I got to level 30. So it breaks my heart to break more diamond ore without fortune, but um, we'll, we are going to have to do it because we have to get a fortune pick somehow. So let's do this. And guys, after this, this episode will have to end. Sadly, I know we're going on like 25 minutes, so I'm, I'm going to try to do this fairly quick so we can get this done. Uh, okay, pick. Please, I need a fortune pick. I'm, like, desperate for a fortune pick. And if we do get a fortune pick, we will mine those diamonds this episode. I'm not going to leave you guys waiting, but... Come on, fortune pick. Fortune 3. Yes. Thank you. Ah, perfect. I swear, if that changes while I'm gone, which it's impossible for it to change. Ah. Ah, so perfect. Let's grab three lapis. And everything in the chests, we will have to uh fortune now which i will do this episode because you know why not let's fortune three ah oh, thank you okay that is like the definition of perfect pick we got efficiency and unbreaking and fortune i literally wanted nothing more than that that is the perfect pick okay yeah i'm super happy i did have to break my redstone to get to level 30, but yeah, that's fine. We have more than enough redstone. But we have things like the diamonds we have to fortune. Uh, we have to fortune some of this quartz. What else did we have to fortune? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. All we have to fortune for now. But that's fine. The diamond is really the important thing at this point in time. So we ended up did hitting our goal. We did get a lot of things done today, and we got a fortune pick. Oh gosh, I'm just so happy we finally got it. Oh, okay. I'm really actually pretty relieved now. I think we might be able to actually fortune another thing if we get back to level 30. Which I don't think will happen, but it's okay. Fortune, okay, I'm just making sure I'm using the fortune one. Ah, oh, that is so amazing. Alright guys, from 20 ore, we got 44 diamonds, so we almost doubled it, and plus 4, so I'm actually really happy, okay, actually we can get even more, if we, uh, fortune this one real quick, 
Damn, 46. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna complain about that. So, like I said again, uh, next episode we will enchant another thing because we're at level 29. But I'll do that next episode. We'll do some terraforming, some different things, which will be fun. Anyway, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's episode. I know I had a lot of fun doing it. So, guys, this has been Aqua Gear. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.